King Charles appeared to hold back tears as he was driven back to Balmoral Castle after attending a private church service in Crathy Kirk this morning. He is choosing to mark the day, which also signifies the day he became monarch, with private memorial prayers and a moment of quiet reflection. Charles, dressed in a red tartan kilt, and Camilla, in a blue day dress and cardigan, were pictured heading back to Balmoral after a 30-minute service and brief walkabout, and the king looked overcome with emotion. Camilla was sat clutching a beautiful bouquet of flowers. This morning's event will be a deeply personal moment for the king, who became sovereign when his mother died peacefully on September 8 last year at Balmoral, aged 96, after reigning for a historic 70 years. Shortly before 10 a.m., the king and queen made the short journey from Balmoral to the Scottish church, where they were joined by just a handful of guests. Members of the public, including pupils from Crathy Primary School, Balmoral estate workers and members of the royal household gathered outside in the autumn sunshine. Charles and Camilla were joined by the late queen's niece and nephew, Lady Sarah Chateau and the Earl of Snowdon. The late queen was close to her sister Princess Margaret's children, especially Lady Sarah who she saw often. The Earl was accompanied by his daughter Lady Margarita Armstrong Jones, and Lady Sarah by her husband Daniel and children Samuel and Arthur. Former Dean of the Chapel Royal in Scotland Ian Torrance was giving the sermon. The King and Queen stayed inside the church for about 30 minutes before leaving and making their way to greet some of the well-wishers. They then headed back to Balmoral Castle where they will spend the rest of the day. Prince William and Kate will visit the Welsh Cathedral of St. David's for a short private service as part of a trip to Pembrokeshire later today.